Hey guys, it's me, Ann Chan, beauty writer at Refinery29, and today I am getting a $1,000 caviar facial. Raise your hand if you've ever tried something simply to see if it's worth the price tag. Me. I'll be honest, paying more than my monthly rent for a few hours of getting my face primped sounds exceedingly expensive, which is exactly why I want to try this out. Full disclosure, and I got it for free, which is just one of the perks of writing about and doing beauty stuff for your full-time job. I'm gonna go meet my friend Fran, who also happens to be a skincare addict. And she has a YouTube channel called Hey Fran Hey. I'm totally excited. I've actually never had a facial. So to have a thousand dollar one is my first. I think it's pretty cool. The facial in question is the caviar facial, which is done at the La Prairie Spa here in New York at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. La Prairie is a Swiss skincare brand that just so happens to be extremely expensive and super luxurious. The brand uses caviar essence in the facial and in their products that help hydrate and plump and anti-age the skin. The first thing my facialist Lisa did was cleanse and steam my face to get rid of any oil and makeup left on my skin. The next thing she did was extract any whiteheads or blackheads out of my face, which to a lot of people, is very, very unpleasant. My skin is so sensitive. Right. The extraction part is always the part that feels like, ooh. But I really enjoy the action of just getting all that gunk out of my skin. The next thing she did was use the cellular peel on my skin for three minutes. It's basically a gel that has a lot of acids and gentle exfoliants in it that help um, loosen up and get rid of all the dead skin on your face. Next, she did the weirdest thing ever, which was massage my hands and feet and then put these weird like robotic hand warmers on me. It was really cool, it did get a little bit hot. It was super sweaty, but it was worth it. Next, she used a caviar eye serum on my skin with these weird like glass orbs that had this blue liquid in it that was all cool. It feels really good. So for those of you who thought that I was gonna get fish eggs slapped all over my face, that was not the case. <laughs> Although I couldn't feel or smell the caviar in the treatment, it did feel really amazing, it was super hydrating, and although I didn't know it was there, I trust them. If you ever keep your eye cream in the fridge and you put it on your face, that's exactly what it felt like. But like a thousand times better. Then, to hydrate my skin after it's been chemically exfoliated and whatnot, Lisa put the Hydro Lift Firming Mask on my skin. It also has hyaluronic spears, which immediately plump and fill up that delicate eye area. Felt very, very good. So you are just a little irritated in some of those spots where we did extractions, but that will calm down very quickly. And in the next couple days, the skin will just continue to look better and better. My skin feels really good. It, it doesn't does. hurt at all. Okay, good. It looks really good. It looks like concealer. I feel amazing. I was having some uh, hormonal breakouts on the right side of my face, and obviously she didn't treat the acne, but it just looks different. It looks like the discoloration has been lightened. How are you feeling post-facial? Um, you know, the facial, I will say one of the pros is that it didn't make me break out. So Good. Me too. I'm no breakouts. My face was actually really moist the entire day, which was really nice. My skin yeah, has been really, time. really clear. I'm not wearing anything on my face right now. I'm just wearing like lipstick and eyeliner. The big question is, do you think that it was worth the money? I think if you can treat yourself, maybe for your birthday or like special payment. And if you have the money to do it, like, yeah. I'm not gonna like judge you for it. Like, go for it. Caviar. Is Plus yeah, <laughs> it was fun. What I really loved about this facial was that it was super hydrating and really gently exfoliating, which you can get without paying a thousand dollars. So I pulled a few products that I think will give you similar effects. First, this mask by Herbivore Botanicals. It's sold at Sephora. It's called the Blue Tansy Mask. It's basically a blue goo that's full of fruit enzymes and gentle acids. So it's pretty much going to do what the cellular peel in the La Prairie 
um, facial did, which is gently exfoliate your skin. The next product is one of my favorites. This is the Honey Potion Facial from Pharmacy. It's full of really hydrating ingredients like honey and oils. And when you put it on your face and rub it in, it actually has a warming effect. This is a really great, strictly moisturizing mask. It's by Mission Groves. It's called the Hydrating Face Mask, and it has jojoba oil and rosehip oil in it. And you would rub it on your face and leave it on for about 20 minutes, and it's just gonna deeply, deeply hydrate your skin. And you just take it off and you go to bed. Bottom line, that was an amazing facial. It was really expensive, but my face feels like a thousand bucks. I wanna know what your favorite masks are, and would you ever get a thousand dollar facial? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos. See ya.